Hi guys, my name is Marissa, and in this video I would like to talk about some of my qualifications as a future educator. Um, I want to start off by saying one of my greatest dispositions that I think I possess would be the fact that I'm very caring. I currently work at a middle school and I've learned that caring for your students will get you very far. I care for their needs and I think that is very important. I currently work with ESOL students as well as ESC students and I have learned to care for them all individually and I've learned that every student does go ahead and learn at their own pace and I think that is very important for a teacher to possess. I believe a teacher should understand a child's needs and should care for them wholeheartedly. I believe that every student has the right to learn at their own at their own pace and there's nothing for me more important than putting my students needs above everything else i think um one of the one another quality that i possess would be the fact that i am respectful i've been working with students for years i've done elementary middle school preschool i've never had any problems of any kind the students have learned if they respect me, they will get respect in return. I've never had any problems, but I have um, gone ahead and used that as kind of an incentive for them to respect me. In middle school can be difficult. The students are going through phases where they're trying to discover who they are and they tend to lash out. So I've learned to teach them that if you want to be treated with respect, you need to give respect. And it's honestly turned out great. I've had great feedback from the kids. I, I've i learned to build relationships with them. And honestly, I think one of the, that's another great thing that a teacher needs to build relationship with their students so their students feel safe. At the end of the day, school is a second home for these kids. Some of them, it's better than their actual home. And then building that relationship with their teacher or um, my, my case, paraprofessional, I help them out is great. And I honestly think that is an amazing thing. I think teachers should care for their students, should respect their students. And I believe, and build relationships with them as well. And I believe I do possess all of these attributes and dispositions and, um, one of the things that I might have to work on might actually also be the caring part because I care and like I said, I care wholeheartedly. So my problem is I care at school and I care when I get home and it tends to be something that is on my mind, on my mind, on my mind. But honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world. Um, the students become family. You know, they are, like I said, it's their second home for some of us as well. We spend a lot of time there. And nothing makes me happier than helping out a student in need. But it is something that I have to work on because I feel like sometimes it tends to be a lot. Um, and that is something that a lot of people probably go through as well. But like I said, I believe teachers should care for their students, should be fair with and I think I'm completely fair to my students. Like I said, I, I help out with um, different kinds of students and I put their needs before because putting their needs before is my biggest priority. Um, I believe that being enthusiastic is good for the students as well. I think I do possess that as well. Um, I like to help the kids and I like to motivate them. Uh, whether it be uh, finding something that motivates them in order to go ahead and get through their work and stuff like that. I honestly think that is great to connect with the kids. Once you connect with them, some hands-on experiences and stuff, I think that would that's great. Um, I think some teachers need to work on their communication with the kids, their respect, and I believe that in the future, I'm going to be a great teacher. Thank you.